As more students return to the classroom, the recent high-profile shooting in Uvalde, Texas, is a source of anxiety. Parents and kids concerned about safety are working through those feelings at the start of this new school year. News 4's Anyang has advice from a psychiatrist about how to deal with that added stress. As kids get ready to head back to school, school security is top of mind for many families, especially after the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. For some people, added security measures don't ease fears that something terrible may happen when their kids go to school. Joining us now is psychiatrist Dr. Joshua Weiner to tell us more about how to deal with some of these uncertainties of back to school. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm just going to start right away with what are some ways that parents and children can cope with worry and anxiety when they're at school? I think, you know, everybody has their own coping skills to try to deal with anxiety. For some, it's exercise. For many, it's just talking it out with people. I think the other thing that people need to recognize is they have to be aware of what we call self-talk. How are they talking to themselves? Because we talk to ourselves more than we talk to anyone else out there, just having these this inner dialogue. And what people should realize is that the more you have a particular thought, the more your brain has that thought. So your brain, we now feel, is like a muscle. And thoughts are like muscles in your brain, like pathways in your brain. And just like if you use your biceps all the time, your bicep is gonna get stronger and you're gonna be more likely to use it. If you start having all these anxiety thoughts over and over, you're actually making it more likely that you're gonna to continue to have that anxiety. How do parents talk to their kids if, if they're having concerns in a way that's validating but not scary? You know, I think that a lot of it obviously depends on the age of the kid. It depends on the anxiety levels of the child. So taking that all into consideration, I think the way you start is just by asking open-ended questions. So, hey, you're going back to school soon. Like, what are your thoughts? Are you nervous about anything? My guess is most kids are going to say they're nervous about having this mean teacher or the, too much homework or things like that. But you could say, hey, I'm just curious, you know, are you worried about your safety or anything like that? And so that's the way I would kind of lightly bring it up. And then obviously, if your child does start to express some anxiety about safety issues, then you want to start asking more specific questions. What are you worried about? How often do you worry about it? What might you think is going to happen? Can we come up with some sort of game plan that might make you feel a little bit safer or a little bit more comfortable? What about talking to your kids about security specifically ahead of the school year? It sounds like, you know, you're kind of depends on the child, but do you have any recommendations on that? You know, look, my general feeling is talk to your kids about everything, right? You know, it's not specific just to this issue. The more you talk to the kids, your kids, the more you understand how they think and feel about things, the more interest you're showing in your kids, the more you're telling, listening to them and wanting to understand them and their experience, it's going to do nothing but good. It's going to do nothing but good for you and your relationship. I do think the one key point that I would add to that, though, is you want to be careful when you are talking to your kids not to always make it turn into a lecture or you trying to tell them what to think or feel. I think your main objective really should be to listen, repeat back to your child what you think they're trying to say to you. Maybe you think they're saying something and then you repeat it back to them in your own words and they say, no, that's not what I mean. That's not what I feel. First, make sure they under, they feel like you understand them. And then if you want, you could say, hey, you want my two cents on this? And they may say, no. And accept that. Walk away. Don't make, don't sort of force your ideas and your opinions down their throat because it's just going to get them most of the time to push back and it's not going to result in your desired objective. You know, this happens to me all the time. My kids will tell tell anyone that I, I a conversation will turn into a lecture. So I have to remind myself of that all the time. Dr. Joshua Weider, thanks so much for that insight. All right. My pleasure, Ron.